going on, TC Kids? And welcome to a very special Christmas edition of Online Experience. You like my beard? It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. What are you supposed to be? I'm clearly a reindeer. What are you supposed to be, Santa Claus or, or uh, what are you? I think I'm both. I want to be both this year. Santa and no. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Ho, ho, ho. All right, guys, are you ready for this special edition? I hope you are. But before we begin service, let's start like we always do. Go ahead and close those eyes, bow those heads, and let's begin in prayer. Father, we thank you. We honor you today. Thank you for all you do in our lives. As we celebrate the special season of Christmas, Father, we remember that you came to this earth as a little baby to save us from ourselves. Father, we love you. We honor you. Let the kids go wild and crazy. Let them have fun, but also let them learn from your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You want to feel my beard? You want to go flying somewhere? Let's go. Get out of here. <laughs>
Tonight's Bible story is one that is filled with great surprises. There are many Christmas songs that have been written about this part of the real Christmas story. It all starts with a group of shepherds taking care of their sheep out in the middle of a field late at night. As you can imagine, they were probably bored as can be. This was something that they did a lot. Taking care of sheep can be quite boring at some times, but they were about to get the surprise of their lives. Suddenly, up in the sky, there appeared a huge group of bright, shiny angels. They spoke to the shepherds, do not be afraid. We bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The shepherds were amazed by what they saw. Then the angels began to sing, glory to God in the highest. They told the shepherds all about the baby Jesus, who had been just born in the town of Bethlehem. This baby Jesus was the son of God who had come to earth to take away the sins of all people. Then, just as quickly as the angels appeared, they disappeared. The shepherds didn't know what to make of all this. They looked at each other and then they said, let's go to Bethlehem and see the thing that's happening. They ran as fast as they could until they reached the town of Bethlehem. The shepherds went straight to the stable where Mary and Joseph were. Mary and Joseph had to stay in the stable because there was no room in the inn. After all, the city was full of people because everyone had traveled there in order to pay their taxes. The shepherds were the surprise guests at Jesus' birth. They gathered all around Jesus, the savior of the world, and worshiped him. The shepherds learned that the, that day that Jesus came for all people. The angels appeared not to the most important people of that time, but to the regular ordinary people, the shepherds. They showed the world that God sent his son into the world to save the whole world from their sins. In your lesson tonight, you're going to learn that God doesn't see people as important and not important. He sees all people the same and sent his son, Jesus, to save everyone from their sins. What an incredible Christmas gift. Hey kids, what time is it?
to tonight's power verse. I am here with Ralph. Ho, oh, ho, oh, ho. Oh. You look Merry like Christmas. Ralph, are you Santa? <laughs> or are you an elf? I'm Santa elf. Santa elf? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So you make the presents and deliver them. Yes, I do. <laughs> Unfortunately. All right, well, listen, I, I this is throwing me off. I, I don't think I did. Oh, there we go. Oh, Rob is back. Show the kids what it is. <laughs> I did think you were because I introduced you as Rob. Oh. Yeah, right, okay. So, here we go. Rob, here we go. Today. Today. It's going to be me. It's going to be me. Why? Uh, why do you ask? Uh, do you ask? No. No? Okay, this is why. Last week, you got two right. Two oh, yeah. out of three. Right? So now this week, I believe in Christmas miracles, and I believe it's this Christmas miracle. It's going to be a Christmas miracle. Oh, yeah. Miracle, right? Yes, it is. And Christmas is right around the corner, Miss Bugman. Oh, no. What are you asking for for Christmas, Rob? Me? Yeah. yeah. I want to be a real boy. <laughs> Rob, sorry. <laughs> That's not happening, Rob. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anything's possible. Anything is possible, but that's not happening, so I'm sorry to crush your dreams. But listen, listen, the Christmas miracle today is that you are going to get all three of these right. Oh, yeah. You got this? I think I will be maybe, you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see? We'll just play by ear. Okay, here we go. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. Wow, that was really loud and aggressive. <laughs> all right, ready? For unto you is what? For unto Born. you Born. Wow, you didn't even hesitate. Mm -hmm. And you got it right. Mm -hmm. Have you been reading your Bible? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got it right. <laughs> For unto you is born. Can I celebrate? You can celebrate. Oh, yeah. I got it right. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Woo -hoo. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a what? What is born this day? Well, Jesus, you know, he is a savior. Yes! Yes, it's a 
a Christmas miracle. It is a Christmas miracle. So I am so excited. So excited. And I just want to wish you. Me. A Merry Christmas. You too. And wish the kids a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to the kids. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, Merry Christmas. Tonight, we are tackling the very important question, what if? Now, I know we all have random what if questions, like what if it was against the law to eat vegetables? And what if snails ran as fast as cheetahs? That would be really cool. But this what if question we are tackling tonight is a really big one. What if the shepherds were not invited to the first Christmas celebration? The reason this is such a big question is because there is a particular way that some human beings naturally think. Now, we tend to think that people are on levels. You know, if you are famous, have a lot of money, or are the boss of a lot of people, then you are on a higher level than others. You are important. Now, of course, if you are poor and aren't known by any people, then that means you are on a lower level than others. We often refer to those kinds of people as not so important people. We treat people according to what level they are on and what we think they are on. If someone is important, then we look up to them and want to hang around them if at all possible, right? If someone is not so important, then we tend to ignore them and not pay much attention to them, right? But that's not the way God thinks. That certainly is not the way God looked at the people when he chose them to send his son, Jesus, into the world as a tiny baby. Now you see, Jesus came for the important people. Remember the wise men in the Christmas story? Kind of like this. Now, they were definitely important people. They were scholars from far away land. In the Christmas song, they were called three kings, as in we three kings. Now, I'm not going to sing it to you, but you get the picture. They had a lot of money. They brought very expensive gifts to Jesus all the way from their far, far away land. Now we know that Jesus came for important people like the three kings. That makes sense to us because the wise men were on a, that's right, higher level than many other people. Now they had more money, more fame, and more power than most people. Of course, Jesus came to earth to save these important people and many others like them. But important people are not the only one Jesus came for. You see, Jesus also came for the not so important people. You know, remember the shepherds? You know, in today's Bible story, the shepherds definitely were not considered important. Nobody paid attention to the shepherds. They were all alone out in the fields in the middle of the night. Nobody thought much about the shepherds. You know what? They were average. They were ordinary. They smelled probably like sheep. I mean, you can't get any more not so important than that. But God paid special attention to these not so important shepherds. God sent an entire choir of angels to give the first invitation to come see Jesus, who had just been born. The shepherds got word even before the wise men did. They were the first to arrive at Jesus' birth to worship him. Isn't that awesome? Even though other people didn't think they were worth much, God knew that the shepherds were very important in his eyes. He doesn't, uh, or why does this teach us, or what does it teach us? Well, it teaches us that whether you are rich, famous, and important, or are poor, unknown, and not so important, in the eyes of others, God loves all people the same, everybody the same. 
He sent Jesus for the important and the not so important. It doesn't matter what others say about you. God says you are worth him sending his son to earth to save you from your sins. In fact, Jesus came to save all people from their sins. Every person on earth means the same to God. Jesus came so that every person could be saved from their sins. Whether it is a prince in Europe or a poor child in Africa, God loves them the same. Whether it's a king in Asia or a trash man in South Africa or, or South America, Jesus came for everyone. During this Christmas season, let's remember that God loves all people the same. Don't think that you don't deserve as much as someone else. Don't think that important people deserve Jesus' love, but you don't. Jesus loves you just as much as the most important person in the whole entire world. To him, everyone is important. As we celebrate Christmas, let's celebrate the fact that Jesus loves everyone. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this sermon. I sure did. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the Christmas season here coming up next week. Listen, until then, take care of yourselves and each other. This pastor loves you.